Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So the today's question is uh, determine the sequence of the counter in figure below. Begin with the counter cleared. Okay. So this is the circuit. Uh, this is the figure basically. Uh, there are uh, four JK flip flops are there and the three NAND gates are there. And the first JK flip flop is provided as high input and the rest of the JK flip flop as given input through NAND gate. NAND gate is having some inputs. Later I will explain this thing. So, and the question is telling that the initially the counter is clear, it means Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, all are 0, 0. So, let's start doing this kind of question. So, before starting, please like and subscribe my channel and uh, please subscribe by using your Gmail or Rediff ID. Don't subscribe it by your university ID. You can see X, Y, and Z uh, is the NAND gate. Okay, I have given the name X, Y, and Z to all three NAND gates. Uh, you can see here there are three uh, four JK flip flops. So this is the JK flip flop number zero. This is the JK flip flop number one. This is the two, and this is the three. Okay. Now, since the initially the counter is cleared. Okay, remember these things. Uh, and the next thing is uh, the J1 K1 is provided through NAND gate. This NAND gate is having Q0, Q1. You can see this is the Q3. Okay, this is the Q3, this one, this one is the Q2, and this one is the Q1. Okay, so this NAND gate X is having Q0 as input, Q1 as input, Q2 as input, Q3 as input. Similarly, this Y is having only Q1, Q2, and Q3, no Q0, and Z is having Q2 and Q3. I have written this uh, to make this, uh, uh, this process simple. Initially, all the inputs are uh, zero remember these things so let's uh, draw that uh, it will be better to draw the truth table of uh, NAND gate and uh, JK flip-flop so make it easy so here you can see this is the NAND gate truth table okay and this is the JK flip-flop truth table so the thing is in NAND gate you can see whenever 0 0 is here you will get 1 and whenever 1 1 is here you will get 0 okay 0 1 so it's it is having four inputs this NAND gate is having four inputs. What it means when all the inputs are zero, you will get one. When all the inputs are uh, one, you will get zero. If either of the input is one, you will get output. Uh, sorry, either here zero one. So if either of the uh, input is zero, you will get one at output. Okay. So we will see only you need to remember this condition. Whenever all the inputs are one one, you will get zero. Okay. And rest of the places you will get one so we will uh, draw for this one also and that's why I have written XYZ because before applying the next clock we need to know uh, last clock condition what was the output of at the last clock okay similarly here you can say JK flip-flop I have given the JK flip-flop here you can see JK J naught K naught is one okay so this will always remain 1. So here you can see whenever the J0, K0 is 1, 1, toggle. Okay, it will become toggle. So this Q0 will toggle every time. So initially it is started with 0 as the question is telling all the counter is clear. So Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, all will be 0, 0. Okay, so in that case, so initially this, this is high. So this Q0 will toggle each time, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 like this. Now, Q, what will be the condition of Q1? So, the Q1 condition will decide X. X will decide the condition. So, how you will get the output of X? The value of Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Okay. So, this is the uh, process we will do. So, let's start doing this one. So, initially the counter is clear. So, all the outputs are 0, 0, 0. Okay. C means clock is 0. When we didn't apply any clock. Okay. So, what is the condition? Now, all the uh, all the outputs are 0, 0. So, these outputs are working as input for X. So, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. So, all are 0, 0. You can see here, all are 0, 0. So, you will get 1 as output. Okay. Similar way, Y, all inputs are 0, 0. So, this will again become 1. All inputs are 0, 0. So, this will again become 1. Okay. So, this is the condition before applying the clock. Okay. Before applying the clock, J0, K0 is 1. Okay. And J1, K1 is also 1 because X is 1. Y is here 1. So, J2, K2 all are 1, 1. Okay. So, it means 
a previous out will be oh, will be toggled okay so when you applied the first clock when you applied the first clock how since x y z all are one one so all the outputs will toggle so this will become 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 2 okay so this q naught is 1 q1 is 1 q2 is 1 when you applied the first clock okay so before applying the second clock second clock you need to know what is the uh, condition x y and z since all the outputs sorry q0 q1 q2 and q3 are 1 1 okay say here 1 1 so the output will become 0 so x will become 0 that's why i have i have given this uh, nine digit root table so that you can easily relate it okay so this is 0 and this is again 0 okay so this is this condition is before applying the second clock when you applied the second clock okay so all are 0 0 so there should be no change q not no change 0 0 no change but as you know j naught and k naught is always 1 1 okay so this will toggle at the second clock q naught will be toggle but all these three are will not toggle because x y z is 0 0 so 1 1 and 1 this will not toggle now you need to find the condition of x y and z so x is having all 0 1 1 so here q0 q1 all 1 1 so since 1 is odd here 1 input is odd so this will become 1 okay now you see uh, q, uh, q1 q2 and q3 is 1 1 so it will become 0 y will become 0 you can see from here z will become again 0 okay so now this condition is before applying the third clock when you applied the third clock okay what will be the condition self x is 1 okay as i already told you j naught k naught is always 1 1 so q naught will always toggle okay <coughs> j naught k naught is 1 uh, so q naught will always toggle now you find the condition for q1 so q1 j1 k1 is x so this is 1 so it will toggle okay and it will become 0 y is 0 and z is 0 so these two will not toggle okay now find the condition for x y and z so obviously x will remain 1 okay because x is having all the inputs so it will remain 1 y is 0 1 1 so it will become since 0 1 1 so you can see 1 so it will also become 1 and here uh, q2 q3 is 1 1 so this z will be 0 okay so q0 will always toggle so it will become 0 okay now 1 1 uh, sorry x is 1 so it will toggle because x is applied to j1 k1 so this will toggle y is 1 so this will again toggle so 1 2 0 toggle means previous output was 1 so next output will become 0 now this is 1 and this 0 is 0 so it will not toggle and it will remain the same now 0 1 0 1 you got it so now find the condition for x y and z so x will become 1 now see q1 q2 q3 so 1 0 1 this will also 1 okay and 0 1 this will be also 1 okay when all the inputs are 1 1 and x was already means this flip-flop was already 1 so what is what will be the condition all flip-flop will toggle so this will become 1 this will become 0 this will become 1 this will become 0 okay now find the condition for the clock oh, sorry condition for the x y and z so obviously because 1 0 1 0 so this will be remain 1 this will again be 1 this will again be 1 because you will get 0 output when all the inputs are 1 1 only one condition is there so since here is 1 0 1 0 every input is having here q3 is having 0 q3 is there so all are having 0 okay now again repeat it so since all the inputs are 1 1 so it will again toggle this will become 0 this will become 1 this will become 0 and this will become 1 okay if you point want to find the x y and z value so this will remain 1 this will remain 1 this will remain 1 okay so this since x y z is not changing so this will toggle each time so if you uh, do it for next clock seventh clock so you will get 1 you will get 0 
you will get 1 and you will get 0 and this will become x, y and z will become 1, 1 and 1. Okay, so what I want to say that this flip flop is uh, uh, locking for this 5 and this 10. Okay, so the sequence is 0, this sequence is 16. If you want to find the sequence of the counter, so 0, 15, this is 7, okay, this is 11, this is 5, next is 10, okay, this is again 5, again 10, okay. So this flip flop, sorry, this uh, counter is locking for 5, 10, 5, 10 and it will lock, uh, lock each time. So for that one, to make it clear, you need to apply the clock, okay. Uh, then uh, you need to give any uh, command, a reset command, then this uh, counter will be clear and it will start again. So this is the sequence uh, for this one. So I hope you got the explanation. So guys, if you like this explanation, please like and subscribe my channel and please share with your friends so that they, are, they can also learn this kind of questions. Thank you guys.